Hello, hello. Welcome to the Deborah Berry channel. If this is your first time, I am Deborah Berry. This channel is about fashion and styling and doing everything we can, ladies, to hold on to our pretty. It is about getting dressed and looking our very best. You want to get up, get dressed, and look your very best. Always, always, always. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. You know I love you, I thank you, and I appreciate you. Ladies, hello, hello. You know, it was just, it's been a week. That's all I gotta say. It's been a week, and I had no idea what I was gonna video for you today. Again, something I ordered didn't come in yet, so that threw me off, but you know, I pray on it, and God says do this. So we're gonna do uh, well, I'll talk about the topic later. Let me talk about what's on my lips, right? I'm getting way ahead of the game. See, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I want to show you my nails first. I have on, of course, Olive and June, and what is this color? HGC. It's a, it's a pale, pale, almost a white, milky white pink. I was in that mood. But this time I used a top coat, and it's called the matte top coat. I had never, I, I don't know why I ordered it. What? I'm, I'm so used to my nails being glossy, shiny, in your face. So I thought I'd try this matte top coat. And it's so interesting. I got a few nicks in here because I got them moving before they got dry. But I'm loving it. I don't know if you can see. I wish I had. A, I should have left one shiny and one matte. But it's so cool. It's the matte. It took a minute to get used to. But I can't wait to do another color on here and do that matte. So if you want to give it a try, and I know some of you have tried Olive and June and you're liking it, try, order the matte. It's the matte top coat. Order that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm, I'm Now I got, you know, always, you know, try something new. You never know. So that's my Olive and June. That's the nails. On my lips is Miss Pat McGrath herself. I have on uh, her Night Fever lip pencil. You know, I don't know why I keep the boxes. Just that color. Let's see if you can't if you can see that. And the lips. This was one of the first ones I ordered. I love this. This color is called Extravaganza. And it's like a a berry color. Look at that. It's it's pink, it's berry, it's it's nice. And it's matte and it stays on and it works perfect with this uh, Night Fever uh, lip pencil. So if you want to try those out, you know, at least at least get this one and get one of those reds. You know, Pat McGrath makes a fantastic red. So I also, it's sitting here and I haven't tried it yet. I was in Nordstrom and I, I, I got this new Bobbi Brown lip color I want to show you. I wanted to wear it, but I, I, what I was having on today, it wouldn't have worked. But this is Bobbi Brown. It's a luxe matte lipstick. And the color is Power Play 523, I think. Or Anyway, I asked the guy. I told him I wanted a coral. I wanted an orange. And I can't wait to wear this. But this is Bobbi Brown. I don't think I have any lip color by Bobbi Brown. So this will be a first. But you know, I'm, I'm loving the mattes. I love this case. The octagonal like shape I don't even know if you call it that it's like they took the square and curved out those edges but let's get to the color <laughs> and look at that it's really nice she is beautiful beautiful I can't wait to wear her for you put it on my hand Ooh, ooh we gonna be so powerful in that you know that's an orange, as Tashara would say. That is orange. Get your orange. Look at that. It's really nice. So I'll list this because, you know, we all need a good coral. And I'll have to check out some more of Bobby's matte lipsticks if that works as well as Pat and Prada and Carolina. Those are all my gals on the lips. Now I got this on my hand. Let <laughs> me wipe it off because I will make a mess. Okay, it stains a little bit, which is kind of good. So, how you been, ladies? How is everyone? It is spring, spring, spring. Oh, my God, it was so hot here last night. My husband's like, how you turn this air on? I don't turn the air on. It was pretty warm, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it because we had some rainy days in there. I'm just piddling on my desk. Anyway, I was trying to, I, I was trying to think of what can I 
do for the ladies but you know because I love and I love thank you again for always saying I can't wait to see what you do next week I look forward to you every week I look forward to to spending my time with you every week too it's like it's a thing it's like I really I'm, I'm feeling like I'm getting to know some of you oh you're just so kind and so so warm and gracious and and all that good stuff okay this is what I did. I decided since I, I couldn't show the newer things I had, I decided to do a closet dive. You know, it's always about what's in our closets. That's what this is all about. You know, work those fashions and rework them and work them and rework them till you, you know, get your cost per dollar or cost per wear out of the pieces. So that's what I did. I pulled four, I put together four looks that I'm going to show you with pieces you've seen before. Excuse me, I had my little drink this morning, tea. With pieces you've seen before and how I restyled them, I'm going to take my time. I haven't done it yet. I'll dig up the photos of how I wore it last year and then put that in here. So I'll put those in uh, I'll, so that you can see I wore it this way this, this, this time, that time, and then this is how I'm wearing it today. So I will do that and I will put them up when I'm, I'm modeling to show you how you know the versatility of it because some of them I've worn so many times and if I have featured it I have it I have it archives I'll go through the archives later and put that up am I rattling I'm just rattling right but I, I think you know it'll be fun to see how I wore it then and how I'm wearing it now just you know basics and and give you an idea you know you I wore that already well wear it again but switch it up change the top change the accessories you know do something different with it wear it in some newfangled way so that's all that I'm talking about but we're gonna get started here I'm gonna this is part of the first look you've seen this blouse before it's a banana republic blouse I have many of those <laughs> I'll be right back with the first look ladies bye bye all right, let's get started. Look number one, navy skirt. Banana Republic navy and white striped shirt. Put a few shades on to the look. Teddy black and white. Gotta be right. My course chain belt. I have on my Franco Sardo white loafers just to keep it casual and comfortable and nice. What do you think, ladies? Now, Get these glasses off where I'll have a ring light in your face, and that's not pretty. But this is how I styled it this time. I'm going to find a picture, I'll either put it over here or over here, of what I wore. I, maybe on this side. I wore this navy skirt. If I can find a couple of pictures, I will. I know I've worn it with, I think, the yellow blouse. I've worn it with um, other tops. But I'll find a picture to show you how, how she wore it then, and this is how she's wearing it now. Again, showing you a versatility of your pieces in your wardrobe. Keep your classic pieces. This skirt is probably almost 10 years old from Ann Taylor. Has a big ruffle. Let's sit that down. Has to, it stops right below my knee and then there's a gathering, like a ruffle there. And no pockets now. That's the only thing. And then put pockets in here. This would have been the perfect skirt with pockets. It came with a self, has a, a navy blue self tie belt. I just added Michael Kors and added the little striped shirt to make it look fresh. You could go to church in this. You could go to lunch in this. You could go shopping with the girls. You can go to a movie in this. And you're comfortable. And it's in between spring and it's not quite summer so you're right at the beginning of, of, of the warmer temperatures you could throw a sweater over your shoulders with this to, to keep you warm for added little warmth what do you think ladies what's in your closet this is all about what's in your closet that you can re restyle so Deborah Berry restyled it this way how would you restyle it I mean you could put it on with a t-shirt beautiful graphic t-shirt or a plain white t-shirt, a plain powder blue t-shirt, any type, you know, a striped t-shirt, anything like that. So I'm thinking along that way because it's spring and you want to put on some comfortable pieces 
And so you probably got t-shirts in your wardrobe. You've got short sleeve little tops or something you can put, put on and stretch that look. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. Because pretty soon it'll be warm and you'll be putting up all these long sleeve things. Uh, except for in air conditioning, of course. But again, what do you think? This is easy. This is simple, and we all can do it, and you can be classic, simple, and pretty, and it is your fashion, your style, and it's your choice. All right. Okay, we're going to do look number two, and uh, let's see, I can't even remember what I have. I, I, it's in my head, but I can't even think of it, you know. Remember, 72, just remember that, okay? Give me a little, give me a little grace there. All right, I'll be right back with look number two, ladies. But think about this. Think about it. You, you have this. You got this. Get up, get dressed, and look your very best. And I'm going to give you a little hint. Let me take a moment here. I'm, I'm sorry. All the looks will be, there will be no pants in this, this display of styles this week. I have to share with you because she's gained some weight. The pants are snug around her waist. So we're wearing clothes. That it doesn't matter if you gain a pound or two, you can still wear, okay? Because there was a time this skirt used to be so big on me and the waist, I'd put a safety pin there. So now it's just right. <laughs> just right, but now nah, you know. So keep your wardrobe full of those kind of pieces that you can wear. If it's, I don't want to call it a fat day because there's going to be days, but in days where you're not feeling your slimmest. But I think this works. This could work when I gain a pound or lose a pound. And that's what most of these fashions will show you. They are easy ones to wear. And this is what I have to do. And I think it happens to a lot of us. What happens, I gain some weight, but I still want to kind of wear that. So we find pieces that we'll, we'll feel, we feel comfortable in. You know, it's not pulling across the hips. It's time like, no, you can't wear that right now. So put on something that you can be comfortable in. Look at this, comfortable. And I still got a little pair of Spanx on under here. <laughs> yes, I do. I'll be right back with the next look. Are you ready for this, ladies? <laughs> look at her. She is very pastel. And she has on these, you know, I don't even know how to say these glasses. The Q-U-A-Y, I call them Quay. But I think it's the cute, I don't know, beautiful blush colored glasses. I've had them a couple of years. Go perfect with this. Look at me. I'm all neutral. Just call me the neutral gal. Let me put these down. I have one. Well, I'm using Tory Burch, my old classic one. My first Tory Burch I ever got. This one. I have on the ink T-strap shoes from last year from Macy's in the... They call it a blush color. I call it just a, a bone tan kind of color. But I guess they have a little bit of pink in them. But they work. And this is a Banana, Banana Republic vest. <laughs> I was going to say dress. I got last year. And they have a new one this year. Same type. It's adorable. I want to grab it. But it's like, you don't need to. You don't need to. And this is an old, still got the tag on it though, H&M uh, dress. Just nice and loose very lightweight cotton just sheer and just on a hot day put that on you know with this vest and I just put this together now I wore this dress before and I guess I'm going to talk about the dress I've worn the vest you've seen it I put a picture of me with the dress on I did it I think last spring I did this dress so I'll put a picture up here to show you the, how I wore it then. I probably, if I can, I don't know if I should dig it. The dress is the base piece. So that's when I'll put a picture of how I styled the dress. Because that's what this was about, styling the dress. The other one was about restyling that navy skirt. So those are the subject of the designs or the styles. We'll get it together. We'll get it together. Anyway, ladies, what do you think? This is a good, cool, comfortable look. It's neutral. It's definitely in the neutral family. But you can do it. You can look in your closet, sleeveless vest, if you have one in any color. And this one has like little padding in the shoulder, which is kind of cool. And who doesn't love a big, broad shoulder? Hey, 
helps us look smaller down here, right? <laughs> and it works. I love it. I like it. Simple, simple, simple. Everything is in my closet already. Create a look. This be a good little Sunday look. This be a good look to go to a, a wedding even. If you had a wedding to go to, bridal shower, something nice, little nice look. So what do you think? What's in your closet, ladies? You know I want to know what's in your closet. What's in your closet? So, again, here we go. And this is how I wore it this time. This is how I styled it this time. So I got two more looks. And it, it has dawned on me that each look I'm using some Banana Republic pieces. So there you go. You get those good classic pieces from Banana Republic and you can mix and mingle them with all the other pieces in your wardrobe. You know, never, you know, I, I love banana. You know, people say it's pricey. Just wait till it gets marked down. We got 30% off right now. And, and even if you can't even, if that's still high because some of them are, just wait. Wait till they get it way, way down. And if they have your size, it was meant for you. Sometimes I do that. I say, I just wait. And I have missed a few things sometimes because I waited too long. And I say, they sold all of them? If I, I know if I go in the store, the lady would call the other stores and find them for me, but that's okay. It's always going to be something else on the horizon. So, I will be back with look number three for you. I'm featuring some banana stuff again. But here we go. Very nice and neutral. I didn't really show you this dress. I call it my bohemian dress because I've worn it before with the little crochet thing. I don't know if I'll find it, but oh, this buttons. But the dress is just big and loose. It has no shape to it. It's just, whoo, on a hot day. You know, <laughs> on a hot day, put that on. And, you know, you can wear it open like this. Take the belt off and just wear it with a vest like that. Options. We love options, don't we, ladies? So, coming up with look number three for you. Don't go away. I had a little fun with this one, ladies. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I decided to put, put, let's put something together that you wouldn't think would go together. And this is a Banana Republic Factory, I think. Long shirt dress. Not long enough to, to the floor, but long shirt dress. My Banana Republic white skirt from last summer. Banana Republic uh, little scoop neck, little cap sleeve top. And the rest, you know, it's Tory Burch gold belt, my, what is this, Mark Fisher gold shoes, and the Michael Kors gold bag, of course. So, I'll show you this outfit. It was just something fun, I thought, to do, to put this over this full skirt, to make a new, whole new look about something. Just, you know, something different if it's a little chilly, because it's spring and you still need some coverage. But again, these are the gold, um, Mark Fisher shoes like my black ones and I went back online yesterday just to get the bone colored ones they're padding they don't have my size they got them marked down there out of my size I was sick because I should have gotten them you know you, you snooze you lose and that's what I did and I would love them in that nude color just to have them because they're comfortable they're easy to wear put on my feet but ladies would you do this look okay last time I think I want to show this top, the, how I wore this. I'll put a picture up here of how I wore this striped shirt dress to give you a comparison. I have a million times I've worn this white skirt, but to show you how I wore this piece. And it still has the tags on it. I haven't worn it out the house yet, but I've styled it a couple of times. So I wore it then like that. I'm wearing it this time like this. What do you think? Will it work? Will it work either way? It works either way for me. And this is just a great little look to put together. I mean, I could have still, I got my Teddy Blake sitting here. Let me look in the mirror. Yeah, I could still carry the Teddy Blake with it. Get, get you a white bag, ladies. I need another white bag because I don't want this one to get dirty. But it's very nice. I carried it to church yesterday and it was, it's so easy to get in and out of. It's roomy. And it's the perfect size. Just the top handle is so pretty. But 
we're here for, for the fashions, right? But this is part of styling, because you know, your wardrobe should have at least one Teddy Blake in it. I'm telling you. I was watching Sharon at Ageless Resale, and she says, you know, I think I need me one more Teddy Blake. I know, you do. You need, you know, a few. And it's another color I want. I just, I go on there and it's so many colors. You want them all, or you can't decide. But I think I would like another one made exactly like this in another color. But I digress. <laughs> this is the look. And, you know, I can take the belt off. You know, you have to pop these belts. And it's just a, a big shirt. That's all it is. It's just a big, loose shirt. So you ever think, you know, you always think of wearing this over slacks or something, over pants or with your jeans or something. But put it on with a skirt and take it out. Take it out with a skirt. It'd be really nice. And again, this was a skirt last summer. It's still a little big. I had to, it was so big, I had to put a safety pin in the waist. Mm. <laughs> but it has great pockets. Banana makes great skirts. So this is all some of the Nana Republic's pieces blended together my way. My fashion, my style, my choice. And that's what you do. You put your pieces together your way to suit your fashion, to shoot to suit your style and and make it your choice. It's all about your choice. Make good choices. Have pieces that you can't make a mistake. Mistake proof styling, that's what we'll call it. Mistake proof styling because you come up with something, you discover, oh, this will work, this is great, you know. So instead of buttoning it, you know, you put the, I put it on a different way to sign, whatever. But I love these little belts where you just gotta punch them in a little hole. Come on, go in, Tori. And, uh, and you're done. Now when you do this, because, you know, I hate that. See that? Just pull it up a little bit. Just pull it up a little bit, and you're good to go. See, and now it looks perfect. Pull it up a little bit, have it snug. The trick is having it snug at the waist. You know, and I could button it to really make it do better. I wish this had pockets. Now that would be nice, wouldn't it? I guess we don't need double pockets. Excuse me, that was a little thread there. But again, ladies, I want to thank you for spending time with me. We got one more look coming up, and it's another Banana Republic to show you how I wear it and how if you got that dress, and a lot of you did get that dress, it was, it was a winner, winner piece last summer. So I'm going to show you that, and we'll be done. But I want to thank you. You know I'm here every Thursday just for you. I appreciate you giving everything a thumbs up liking subscribing sharing subscribe subscribe we're getting there we're going to be at uh 17 we're, we're in the 900s of 17,900 now so we're going to make it over we're going to hit 18 maybe i want to i don't want to say before the week's out but maybe by next week we'll be at 18,000 18,000 Oh, we're already at 18,000. We'll be at 19,000 and then we'll be on our way to 20. But we're having fun along the way and I am, I am enjoying this and I appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate you. So I'm going to be back with the finale and let's hope it works because you know me, I get to experiment and sometimes I go, I can't put that on for the ladies. But hey, it's all about trial and error. All about trial and error. I'll be back with the finale. Cue the finale music, whatever. Hello, hello, hello. It's the finale time. <laughs> and okay, over the top again. I, I really stepped out of my box a little for this week, so I want you to just play along. Play along. This is Banana Republic sundress from last year, and I showed it with... I think the sheer long sleeve top, I'll put the picture up here. And I always would put yellow with it. I would always put yellow earrings or, or the yellow uh, Teddy Blake bag. I just pulled the white one out this time. I stuck this flower up here at the last minute thinking, it needs something. And this is an old Ann Taylor blouse. God, I don't know how old. I've never worn it outside. I've used it in a video, I think, once 
just once I think but it's the cutest little blouse and they used to have the best blouses look at the back it's got this little tie back here and this sundress if you remember from last year it had the little opening and if you are a woman of a certain age and you don't want to work all this out there's always an alternative you know I wore it with the uh, little top under it and that top I just had on I could have put that on just a little short sleeve or the sheer put a blouse under it get you that put a t-shirt under it and still wear it because all of that and you know but I, I just love this dress I love the volume of it I love I love the pockets it has and it came in white and I really should have gotten a white one I, I really should have but I got this one I got this one and this is a size four and it fits because I'm still small here so again forgiving get you things that you know, when you gain a little bit you can still wear them ladies that's a good point to think about we love fitted stuff we all do but sometimes you gotta like be a little loose and be a little forgiving and still look just as nice because this cinches in the waist and gives me all that glory around the, around the, the hip part right again i had stuck a let me get it. i had stuck a red flower up here which was oh i didn't show you my shoes sorry these are some old nanette lapor flats i got at dsw oh five or six years ago they have a little ching t-strap they're floral have pink in it green dark pink light pink white perfect little shoe comfortable just just being casual out and about you know she's that girl <laughs> but let me show you the red flower I have one here the red was so pretty with it it's a smaller one from Amazon this is my big one I found at Dillard's by chance but see this is without so you can see it without it's fine without you can't really put a necklace on with this because you've got your bow thing going on back here you don't want to put a necklace on too but this little spot here I thought was Screaming for something to go under there. Look at there. That red is gorgeous. And I could have carried, carried it, you know, Michael Kors red bag. Mm -hmm. But I got these fuchsia colored lips on and I wouldn't dare put this on. I would change the lip color and the shoes. But again, that's a, a different way you could do this. Another take on it with the red bag and the red flower and take it out to a party. <laughs> take it out to a party, right? Options, we all want options, right? We love options, don't we ladies? But we can't carry that with us, so the white bag will do, and my off-white flower will do. Just clip it. I love those clips, you know, they're for your hair, but we wear them our way, right ladies? We wear them our way, we do things our way. Okay, ladies. I think that is it for today. We made it through. I am so thrilled and I had fun as usual digging in my closet to show you, you know, how I reached out last year's option or yeah, usually last year or the year before, how I reached out an item that's already in my closet to wear it once again and make it seem fresh and new. And it's all you got to do. Wear it a different way. It'll seem like something new and fresh and we all love new and fresh, don't we? And I want to thank you for hanging with me and being with me and being who you are. Yay, yay, yay. And, uh, you know, come back and see me next week. I'm here every Thursday. Every Thursday, good Lord willing. Remember, leave a little kindness everywhere you go. All right. I'm ready to eat, of course. I have fun, ladies. I love you. I appreciate you. And I thank you. See you next week with some more fashions. Yay!